Alrighty, this is going to be the uh, probably the final episode here. Uh, I did a few things off camera. You can see the cycle as increased. And uh, uh, last time we, of course, built the finished up the solar array. Massive solar array. I was going to put a couple of, um, what do you call it, conveyor loaders over here and get some more regolith to our critters, but I've decided not to. Uh, let's see here. What else? Do yeah, I really like this. This is nice and clean now. Um, you can take a look at our food. 3 million calories in barbecue. 23,000 in pepper bread. Of course, we have some fried mushrooms left over. 20,000 calories in meat. A couple of these fellows have expired. And uh, I don't know how many... I don't know how many... Uh, shovel eggs. How, how many do we have? Egg. Shovel eggs. We have 15 of those right now. 56 stone agling eggs. So yeah, we're going to be good for food for all. We, I mean, you could play this uh, like it is now. And the room. Nine critters in there. <clears throat> so yeah, we, we, uh, we're doing fine. Uh, this number of critters, this will support our population pretty easily. Uh, in the meantime, I did do a little digging, uh, and cleared out this whole area and, uh, yeah, cleaned it all up, put all the water in a little, in a little storage area, got rid of all the ladders. All the ladders are gone. Everything's all cleaned up. A little bit of a sweep going on here. Uh, we did, I did, oh, I wanted to show you this. So here's a couple different things that I wanted to show you how to deal with. Like the negative decor of heavy watt wire. So, yeah, yeah, this stuff doesn't look very pretty at all. I went ahead and built some plastic tiles, because I I hardly ever build these. You build these out of plastic, again, you get to 50% run speed. They're only worth 5 decor versus the metal tiles, which give you 15 decor, which is kind of why I like building them. And so, let's take a look at the decor here. And I just, uh, we got rid of the shine nymph uh, area, just to clean things up a little bit. There's the decor, and that is the core, just with these arrow pots. Uh, it's already at max 120, even with the, the heavy watt wires. Um, yeah. So these, um, like Mirth leaves five. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Five, so there's like two on each side for this to get the, the maximum value. Jumpy Joy is obviously 125. So it kind of uh, kills it. These, these uh, arrow pots are absolutely fabulous for decor. Uh, so you could put them in your your area over here. Uh, let's see what else did I do. Oh yes, I've been not ranching the hatches anymore. And so their populations are starting to dwindle. Down to three critters there. Uh, three critters, eight, four, four, and five. I would probably keep two of these, one or two of these alive just to have them. I uh, did a little redecoration over here. Removed the water tanks. Uh, we were working on that last time. Brought that water over into this tank over here, which is now feeding the espresso machines and the soda fountains. Uh, put some joyous seeds up here. So again, the decor in this area is fantastic. And then we had some um, we had some oxyfern seeds. Now I didn't put any, this. This was hot over here, so I just threw in some weasworts to cool the place down a little bit. And they're doing a pretty good job. Uh, put the arbor trees, arbor acorns. That's what these pips eat anyway, so they can have something to eat. Put some diamond window tiles here. And you put the window tiles like this on both sides when you're building a, when you have oxy ferns. So as the carbon dioxide falls down, it gets converted into oxygen, like we need oxygen, uh, by the oxy fern seeds. Uh, the oxy fern plants will just convert all the carbon dioxide into breathable oxygen. Got rid of all this on here, just put some nice mesh tiles over here, um, just to have a running path. Let's see, I don't think I did much else. Oh, maybe clean this up a little bit. I don't know if I did that last time or not. Clean the ladders up. Just a lot of little base maintenance. 
type stuff. It, it was just a lot of just drilling and and uh, deconstructing ladders, things like that. The game is really smooth now. I was running it on full speed. Didn't have any problems with it at all. Did a little bit of plumbing here. We did, uh, the other thing I did is I ran a cooling loop into this area here. This goes all the way up here and cools, will cool down. Uh, temperature, it used to be pretty warm over here, if you remember. It's starting to cool this down. This is the last thing that I did. Uh, so I haven't, you know, it hasn't had enough time to cool things down quite yet. But it is, you know, running another 30 cycles and it'll be pretty chilly. Uh, the thing I did is I routed the um, salt water into the desalinator here for our water tank over here and removed this pipe. I was going to use, um, again, if I were going to play a little bit longer, we I have a, a liquid pump in here. And was eight? Yeah. The plumbing pipe is here, and I was going to put some desalinators and... Uh, we could put desalinators and, and the uh, water sieves up here. There's a bunch of polluted water and some salt water down here. A little bit of water on top. Clean that up and dump that into here. And then when this is gone, which would, it's just, it, this will last a long time with just this little bit of use. But again, the, it's the option is there. And then, of course, we could tap into the brine, the cold brine for this, uh, if we needed to at some point. So you have lots of lots of water on this map. Not a big deal. I don't even think we yeah we didn't really even <clears throat> didn't really even tap into this bad boy all that much. And we were using this to produce our our uh, liquid oxygen and hydrogen. I did shut this off for a while. It's just we just got so much of it that yeah lots of it. I grounded all the rockets. The rockets have been grounded for uh, about ten cycles now. And they filled them up, but that's fine. We're not going to send them out again. We have one more thing to do. Well, two more things to do. I did lock this area up here with some tiles. I did not want all the polluted oxygen to get out into the base and float around up here. Polluted oxygen is just such a pain to try to chase down. So I just locked it up. And if I were to continue to play, I'd just drill all this out, drop it on, you know, in, into a flat area. I did take a sneak peek at this geyser. It's just a steam vent. Uh, this is 932. Uh, to handle one of these guys, you need uh, you do need to have a steam turbine attached to it. Um, two of them, maybe two, two or three, two or three steam turbines will take care of this bad boy. Delete the heat, and you can use it for power. And, um, yeah, power. I, I was hoping it was a hydrogen vent, but not meant to be. And I didn't check this area out. Really didn't care to. There's not much left else to explore on the map. We've got everything explored. No more geysers left to look at. Um, might have done something with this. Don't know. Um, otherwise, I think, yeah, no, no other geysers are left on the map to look at. And again, this would just be, if I were to continue to play, I would just tear all this stuff out. and just have a complete solid map of uh, nothing. I um, So let's review a couple of the systems. We're going to kind of wrap the game up a little bit <clears throat> here. And we'll talk about some of the systems. Talk about the base a little bit, how I build, uh, how you might want to build. And uh, kind of give the game a, a review and the update a review. Uh, so you can, uh, you know, and so you can, for, you know, for your edification purposes, really. So one of the things about base building in this game is, I think I said this in the last episode, don't build your base the way I built mine. Build the base the way you want to build your base. If you like this design, just go for it. If you want to try something else, um, you know, all, all, uh, all power to you. Because when I first started playing this game, I didn't build the center spine base. I had a modular build where I would build a section of, of the base here. I'd have a ladder going down. And then I have another module over here. 
you can build however you want. Uh, you don't have to follow the same type of building scheme that I did. There is dozens, and that's the beauty about this game. There are dozens of different ways to build your base. You can take this game, and the, the other great thing about this game is you can take it as far as you want. You can, um, you know, this is, we're a young base. It's only 877 cycles. We have not even explored all of the, all of the uh, asteroids, but um, I've done that before, so I don't think it's, I don't think it's, I honestly don't think it's worth it to go to every single one of these places. Um in this specific playthrough so um the other thing that uh, a lot of players do is they don't build comfy beds this is a, this is one of the, one of the things that uh when i first started doing i never built comfy beds for people i did a lot of the building a lot of the buildings that i put together was just for display purposes showing uh, you know featuring a lot of the different things that you can a lot of the different features of the game really if I were to do it again, um, you know, in the next playthrough that I go through, um, we'll do a completely different base style. Completely different. Compact everything real small. Make a small, small, tiny base. This is this is a big, massive base. Where a very sprawling base. And you can see that a lot of distances for the dupes to travel to get to places. Um, so, again, you know, just regular cots will work for you don't need to build comfy beds uh, if you're going to put your atmos suits in your base just remember um the the game does have that uh they don't wash their hands when they when they're in atmos suits which i have very strong feelings about uh, i don't know if they're going to address it but uh it's a it, the, the the reason they don't do this is because of uh, the, you know, the, what they did is they have the new release that uh came out the um, rad release or whatever on the, with the new maps which um, i have no interest in playing whatsoever the i won't get into why i would not play the update to the game but the update to the game is not very polished um, and it doesn't offer a lot more yeah there's a few more there's a few more things in it that you can kind of play around with but I don't think it adds, it doesn't add much. It adds nuclear, ooh. And it adds more of, it's just more of less, is what I would think. It's more, it, the, the, I think the way, the way that I would phrase it is, the, the, the new release is much more micro-intensive, micro-management intensive. And that is not what I want. When I, I want to be able to set and forget stuff, yeah, you know, how we set up all of the automation over here where the duplicates didn't have to do anything over here. With the new release, oh, there's so much micromanagement. Now, they did do some good things, uh, and I'm not going to gloss those over either. One of the things that they did, and I think they did well, um, we'll go back to this right here, is the food. You know, <clears throat> as I was saying earlier, in the early in in the previous previous version of the game you could have unlimited food storage and it never went bad food never went bad so players would end up with 20 20 um 50 million calories just sitting in a hole in their base somewhere and, and you know again you would build your you would build your uh unlimited food storage and it would look like this and there would just be a vacuum in here and you just pump it in there duplicates would stand on a tile up here right here on a ladder or um, a door like this and i think it was there or here something like this i believe it's here duplicates would stand here fetch out their food and go to their tables and i would always put i would always put that right here as soon as they come in they grab their food and have a seat at their at their mess tables uh, so they did reduce they did remove that am I a fan of that yes and no I think I think that um, uh, it was a good idea to introduce um, introduce uh, uh, 
a decomposition of food because obviously players would just you just have so much food you wouldn't know what to do with it so this also helps out with the uh, deconstruction of food <clears throat> so yeah I like the I like the uh, I like the concept but again we're we're a clever lot and the way that I built this isn't the only way to do this this is just an example of what you can do you don't need to make it this big it can be a lot smaller but the the, the theory on food storage is the same you just create a vacuum put some chlorine in there a little bit of uh, liquid on either side have a cold room you can even put your food into a cold room if you want it could be even in oxygen or carbon dioxide you know, put it in carbon dioxide and have and build a, a cooling a cooling solution for it small cooling solution using uh, what are they uh, utilities instead of a thermo aqua tuner just use a thermal regulator it uses gas and it is pretty cheap to build and 240 watts you can get you can get things pretty cold with with those things and they don't take a lot to any uh, to operate so yeah not a not a big deal I never I never did end up hiring any more duplicates as the game is going <clears throat> um, I never did yeah <clears throat> excuse me I never hired any additional duplicates I'd plan to but I, I was getting to the point where like ah, we're, we're gonna be wrapping this series up anyway and we, we did have plans we did have plans from a man over here but he uh, he didn't make it he didn't make it so he was our volunteer our volunteer rest in peace <clears throat> uh, early game the one of the early game uh, stress things that you could build if you don't have access to pepper plants and um, the soda fountains are very easy to build also your jukebox 900 watts you can run a jukebox there's some other buildings uh, what are they other things you can build for them you can build a hot tub an arcade cabinet a mechanical surfboard it only gives two morale though which is kind of meh you know that's kind of bad the sauna gives only two morale so i don't even bother building it the arcade cabinet takes 1.2 kilowatts and only and only gives two morale like that's silly <clears throat> like two two morale is not worth building an arcade cabinet just build a jukebox two morale 960 watts they use it you know during the different shifts and so on and so forth uh you can build this beach chair this thing's pretty funny pretty cool oh, well yeah let's, let's build one why not uh, let's build it. yeah we've got the time right uh yes yeah, so this is kind of some of the stuff that i was going to do let's build ourselves a beach chair and uh what we need is a sun lamp the sun lamp needs to be like uh something like this let's put it right here right there, right there yeah right there put some tiles here uh did it do sure And we're going to build a beach chair. Let's build two of them. Why not? A little bit of power here. Uh, maybe one conductive. Right there. And let's build a ladder. Oh, we just do it right here. We'll need some doors to define this as a room. We'll need to build some mesh tiles. Uh, I think this will... Will this do two? Oh, yeah, it'll do two. Never mind, then. Let's do two. Furniture. Uh, sun lamp. There we go. Power. We'll need a joint plate reason we need a joint plate is because we need to make a room out of it so let's build a joint plate there we'll build a door build some mesh tiles and build diamond tiles whatever you want whatever you want to do it's, it's, I mean it's your base build it how you want to build it not the way I'm building it now we need to put a door over here 
bit of power. There we go. And furniture. Let's put in, uh, I don't know, uh, maybe a couple flower pots or something. Where, where, where is the arrow pots? There we go. Let's put in some sculpting blocks down here. There you go. Uh, what, what else can we, you know, what else we can build? I, I forgot about this. Furniture. A wind tunnel. We're going to build ourselves a wind tunnel. And this needs to be on, um, this needs to be on tiles. So, you see the little arrow, the little things there? Build some mesh tiles below them. Like that. That's where the oxygen, or the, the air comes in. A little bit of power. This thing is pretty cool. I like this thing. Uh, let's do this up here. Let's plug that in. Ah, this thing's cool. I like this thing. Uh, let's put automation on this thing. Motion sensor. One there. One here. Automation wires. And we'll plug this in. Now, what, one of the things badly about the beach chair. Uh, it gives you eight morale. This is insane. <clears throat> So there, there we go. So it gives you eight morale, which is just nuts. Really? And this. So, when they're on their downtime, they will, um, should be a room, rec room, yeah. So, if they go into the, uh, the beach room here, for, for recreation, let's see if anybody goes in here. You have to give them, t uh, you have to give them more downtime, because they'll stay in this thing, even when it's time to go to bed. So, let's give them some downtime. There you go. Uh, we're, we're essentially done with the game anyway, so. There you go. Have a bunch of downtime, guys. Oh, this game lag. Oh, my goodness. I know, I'm just, I'm just giving a bunch of downtime. No rhyme or reason for it. Some, some more here. There you go. There we go. Put their sunglasses on. See how long this takes? <laughs> Here's the vertical tunnel. <laughs> oh, I love this thing. This thing's a riot. L'Oreal and the Ottoman had the right idea. <laughs> Rocket number four. She's she's in the middle. See how long this takes them? Let's take a look at the schedule here. Pause. Find Gossman and Princess Liara. Where's Gossman? At? Where are you guys at? Uh, ah, there you are. So they're on their downtime. They will stay in here until it's bedtime. They won't go to bed either. Until they're done. 
See how it's bedtime now? They're not going to bed. Sun kissed, sun kissed. So they get a whole bunch of morale from it. It's pretty cool. Uh, what else can we do? Furniture. So these give, what, eight morale, I think? Yeah, eight morale. And five morale for dim light. This thing's pretty funny. It gives you five morale. Uh, what else is the hot dub? I'm not building that. Yeah, the hot tub only gives you, like, it gives you five morale. But it's a pain in the butt to build. The sauna gives you only two. Uh, I don't think there's anything else as far as entertainment goes. Like, yeah, the arcade cabinet, <clears throat> I build it sometimes just to have it for fun. And, you know, why not? But it only has offers you two morale. I think it should offer you more for that much power. So there we go. So everybody can go in the wind tunnel and drink soda and... And things like that. Uh, yeah, let's go through the rest of the systems then. So we've got our, our bedrooms we talked about. Of course, you're going to need a... Um, you're going to need some type of manufacturing area. You know, the skill scrubber we never used. So if you need to send a duplicate in there, if their morale is getting low, let's send uh, Princess Liara in there. Just to uh, kind of show you what it does. <laughs> so she's going to get skill scrubbed. Okay. There's the textile loom, of course, the Exo Suit Forge. Little crafting station. It's pretty neat. Um, it's pretty good for the early game, but I find that it really works well on this map. It's okay on other maps, but hmm, it's going to depend on your needs, you know, what, what it is that you need to do. Uh, of course, you've got your your dining hall. You're going to need a dining hall. It's easy morale. Just grab it. You'll need food storage solution, and, of course, you will need a... You will need a... Uh, a uh, toilet solution of some kind. Oh, are you done yet? She probably got to pee herself. There we go. She's going to go to the bathroom. And so let's go to the printing pod and take a look at our skills. And we've got where he is. Princess Liara, she has 35 points. And all you do is just re you know, assign them the points that you want to give them. Very easy. Alright, just like that. So if you have duplicates that are over their morale. Oh yeah. 65 morale. That's incredible. That's crazy. Superb meal. Gorgeous decor. Great hall. Nature reserve. Windswept. So she was in the little wind hall. I mean, you could get some serious 74 morale. Wow. That's pretty impressive. That's pretty impressive. Uh, yeah, you're going to need a filtration device of some kind. You do not need to build showers. However... It's an easy three morale. So when you're working on the... And, and one of the things about the game is that... Let's go to our skills. Uh, one of the things about the game is morale in the early game. It's kind of tough, right? <clears throat> you, you've got all this stuff to do. But man, you get them, get them some showers. Early game showers are so easy to do. Easy three. Easy three. Um, this will give you two. Early game, easy, easy. And I didn't build this stuff till later, obviously. Bathrooms are, of course, basic. Uh, basic bathrooms give you two. Uh, yeah, morale's not... A, it's not hard to manage in this game. You just kind of have to know how far you can push them uh, in order to do that. In order to... Uh, in order to get the morale. The other thing about hatch farms... So you can see I built these long ways. 
like like we did here. This is not necessary to build like this. Uh, one of the, one of the other ways to build is to build them tall. So you would build them. Uh, let's go up here. An area, yeah, right over here. Let's do a dig. You would build them ten by ten, like that. So you build a you build them ten by ten. You set them side by side, like that. That's twenty tiles that you've got. Twenty, one, two, twenty-three tiles that you deal with because you have. Uh, a wall on the outside, a wall on the inside, and then a wall. And you put the critters on the bottom, and you have a little ladder across the top, and it's all good. We'll probably do that the next time instead of building them long ways. This is an incredible waste of space. Um, there's no real good way to have a lot of, uh, of your critters without space. <laughs> it's just That's just kind of the way it is. Uh, build them close to the base. You can build them farther away from the base. You can do whatever you want. It's up to you. Uh, let's see. Cooling devices. Cooling devices. Very important that you get early game. Well, that you get cooling uh, devices up and operational and oxygen production like we did here. This is not the only way to build this. This is um, a little bit more of an advanced build, and it does take quite a bit of power to run. You can build electrolyzers with a uh just like this without gas pumps so what you would do is you would build very similar to what we have here simple hood like we have here but then at the bottom here instead of instead of gas pumps you just have some mesh tiles or airflow tiles the oxygen will naturally fall down <clears throat> you still have to worry about cooling though but if you're running a hot base it doesn't matter you can make the base as hot as you want. And in this case, we ran a cooling solution for the oxygen. There's our cooling solution for our oxygen. This is our base cooling system. Working beautifully. We take a look at our take a look at our temperatures here. Nice and green, just like it was before. 71 degrees. A little warm up here, but it'll over time it'll it'll cool down bottom of the base is obviously hot because of all the of all the material that we brought in from different places uh this area is kind of cool this area is cold and how, how far along now yeah, this is starting to cool down and it'll just get cooler and cooler over time it you know it takes a while <clears throat> you know it's a big area to cool And I really, really enjoyed building this heat spike down here. I don't think we needed to build this far down. I think right to here would have served just as well. We've already lowered the temperature quite a bit, almost uh, 300 degrees, almost. I think we started out at about 20, should be hot over here still. At 2,800 degrees, I think we're at 29. I'd have to look, but all the heat is now we're, we're kind of slowly draining the heat from the bottom of the map. Very happy how this turned out. Uh, really enjoyed building this, even though it was, even though we had a few emergencies, uh, you know, a few, a few oopsies will happen from time to time, and that's the fun part about. Oh, it's down to twenty six hundred. Yep, yeah, twenty six. 2675, 27, 27. So yeah, we're pulling a lot of heat out of this thing. So I don't know how deep you have to build your heat spike, but it's doing a great job. And we're not even maxing out our steam turbines. The, <clears throat> once you get solar up and up, up and operational, <laughs> like this is a small battery bank. I've built bigger ones than this. I've had battery banks that were uh, about this big before. About as big as this room, this this cut it out area, just because you know why not? Why not, right? Cool them down with the power that you're getting from solar. These things will never run out of power, and it's obviously nice and cold down here. Nice and chill, super coolant, doing a great job. So the sooner you can get into space, 
you get your hands on some super coolant, the more crazy stuff you can build. Reject all. Let's go back down here. Uh, if you can, core your ass, core, core out your your uh, oil biome as, as soon as you can. Get down here with Atmos suits, core the whole place out, and reap all the benefits of getting into the oil biome, getting all the metals, updating your base with, with lead wires. <clears throat> There's nothing like lead to make your life so much easier. And getting down into the oil just makes life so much easier. And in some of the maps that you play, it's going to take you a lot longer to get down here. You know, some of the more difficult maps, and we'll play some of those. Um, they, they will take... It will take a little bit of time. If you have the opportunity to build a peppernut farm like we did here, absolutely worth it. Uh, you can power your peppernut farm with uh, polluted water vents. They are great. Yeah, that food poisoning, so what? These things drink this stuff up. You can build a peppernut farm close to your base, far away from your base, whatever you want to do. And then if you can preserve a cold biome, if there's one on your map, Preserve it. Uh, get your pips to plant some some sleet wheat grain. You can manually do them, but eh, again, trying to grow these things is such a pain. Just get the just get the uh, pips to plant. It's a lot easier. We didn't deal with slime all that much in this in this playthrough. We did we did uh, have to use it a little bit as an emergency um, source for algae, but that was entirely my fault. I did not. I did not push, push, push a little like I normally do. This kind of took my time because we had so much of it on the map that we didn't need to really worry about it too much. And then when it kind of came time to worry about it, it wasn't such a worry. I still got tons of this stuff. You can feed this stuff to um, sage hatches. Will eat the will eat slime, but they will eat it quickly. So when you if you have a sage uh, sage hatch ranch. Uh, I feed them slime, and I keep only about two or three in a um, in a hatchery because they will go through the slime. Then they'll starve, and then you won't have them anymore when you get around to uh, tearing apart another slime biome. So be careful on how many you, you have running active all the time. Uh, if you can get Drekos, let me t look at all the plastic that we made. We did not use any... Uh, utilities. What is it? Utilities or refinement? I think it's refinement. We did not use any polymer presses. I have, I have played this game many, 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 many hours. Many. We did not build these at all. These things, polymer presses. This is how you make plastic, and you need petroleum to do that. So petroleum, boom, uh, to make that stuff. If you can get Drekos. Just, it's just going to make your life so much easier. And over time, they're going to produce all the plastic you need. They're excellent, excellent. And you just have to have a fair amount of dirt on your map. If you don't have enough dirt, then don't build these. Okay? Don't build your... La well, you could build your laboratories. But store up the polluted dirt. Refine it like we did... Where is it? Where do we put our dirt refinement? Ah, here we go. Yep, refine your dirt, refine your poo, and make it into dirt. We got five tons of it there, seven tons of it, a little bit there, a little bit there. They've been probably picking it up and putting it in the uh, in the storage bin. These things will grow forever. Now the problem is, of course, keeping them cool. If you have, if you don't have any weasel warts available, you will have to run a cooling solution to keep these guys, to keep the mealwood growing. They have to be at least, I think it's um, 86, yep, 86. So they have to be under 86 degrees in order to grow. So that's something to keep in mind as well. Um, if I were to do another playthrough, I would not build my docks on the inside of the base like we did here. This was just to, this was to highlight how I like to run. This is actually how I really like to do it. I like the dupes in their Atmos suits all the time go cook because if I want them to go clean something or you know go do something over here you know I don't want them to have to do extra 
work. As long as they're in their atmosphere, they go anywhere at any time without having to worry. If you've got them outside the base and they get in the suit, and they get out of the suit, and drop off some stuff, and then get back in the suit. Once they're in a the suit, I want them to stay in the suit. And this nonsense about them not being able to wash their hands. And the reason that is, is because the, um, what is the update? The update has ra uh, radiation suits, which require them to be decontaminated. They, the, at, these Atmo suits, or um, yeah, the Atmo suits are considered, I think, in the same category as the rad suits, which nullify them needing to wash their hands, which is the stupidest thing on the planet. They need to fix that. I'm sure that there's a lot of players out there not happy with the fact that a duplicate can go to the bathroom in their Atmos suit. They can, they can take a shower in their Atmos suit. They can eat in their Atmos suit. In fact, if you turn these off, they will sleep in their Atmos suit, but they can't wash their gloves. Oh, no, 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 no. You can't wash your gloves. That'd be silly, right? So, I, <clears throat> to me... Getting a dock, a little bit of food poisoning, get some curative tablets, build it like that. It's it's a it's a minor annoyance and inconvenience. So, if you like to do this, build them in their Atmos suits. The amount of time that you save, I, I think you will save, because you would have to have Atmos suits out here. You'd have to have an Atmos suit below your base, up into. I mean, the whole map is now oxygenated, but. In the early game, we had chlorine everywhere, we had, we had hydrogen everywhere, we got stinky gas everywhere, and uh, specifically on this map, really, you know, are we going to have to build an Atmo dock suit just to get into here? That just seems silly to me. I think that they do need to fix this. If they don't fix it, I think it's a major game-breaking uh, problem, because if you can poop in an Atmo suit, take a shower in an Atmo suit, eat in an Atmos suit, do whatever in an Atmos suit, they should be able to wash their freaking gloves, right? They should be able to wash up. It's just silly that they either haven't fixed that or don't care to fix it. Um, and it's been, I think the update's been three weeks now from Breath of Fresh Air update to this one when they merged the both expansion and the base game. So I am hoping that they they do fix this if not then then uh you're gonna have to either do one of two things build your docks outside your base or deal with the uh, food poisoning which is a minor inconvenience for me and um then i just won't build sinks anymore like if that's the game they're gonna play i'll play the game and um you know just get rid of the sinks and have some toilets and you know, it's just going to save me space in the base. So I, I am hopeful that they fix that or address that in some way uh, possible. And, and, you know, maybe they have to decontaminate their suits or something. I, I don't know. But there should be a way to get rid of that uh, nonsensical uh, thing. The other thing that they could do, and here's here's my other option, is um, I'm an all or nothing type of person, right? If they can't wash their hands, they shouldn't be able to use the bathroom in an Atmo suit. They certainly shouldn't be able to shower, and they certainly shouldn't be able to eat in an Atmos suit. They certainly shouldn't be able to go into the, uh, you know, come over here and drink coffee and take tea while they're in their Atmos suit. So they should disable everything in the in the area. So uh, nope, if you're in there, if they're in an Atmos suit, they can't use the bathroom. They can't take a shower. They can't, you know, go and drink soda or coffee. Okay. They can't do any of that. They can't eat while in it. I'm like, I would be okay with that. That would be fine with me. Like, okay, all or nothing. But the fact that they can't do something as simple as wash their hands, that is, that's to me just inconsistency. I don't like, I don't like inconsistency. This is the inconsistency right here. Otherwise, <clears throat> take away, take the away, the ability to eat, shower, and poo drink coffee and all that other stuff, and I'll be fine with that. I'll figure out some other way to run the base. But if they're going to leave this into the game, then I'm just going to simply build an apothecary, make a doctor, and deal with the uh, consequences because I might, I may want to build the base this way. Some bases that you build on different asteroids, 
you're not going to want your docks inside of your base. You're going to want them outside. And that's not a problem for some, you know, you, you just put them like right over here. It's not a big deal. You just put them right outside the base and they're in the base. They're doing all their little stuff. And then when they leave to go do stuff, they're in and out. But otherwise, no, I want them in the suits all the time, especially on this map. This map, when you first start, there's just all kinds of gases and goo and crap everywhere. The other thing that um, uh, the shovels are really, you know, when we, if you get to the point where you can get shovels, ranch them, baby. They are, they are worth their, they're worth the meat intake. Uh, the other thing that really annoys me with their update, we now, let, yeah, let's go to skills. So here we go. Let's go to skills. Talk about skills for a little bit. They added the demolition, uh, dem, dem, demolish gravitas buildings. Really? Deconstruct all. Nope, can't. Nope, nope. So there was a mod at one point that you could demolish every building. But they messed this up. There's still some buildings that you cannot demolish. The little chair and, and uh, so on and so forth. Uh, again, like, playtest your game, guys. If you're going to... If you're going to... If you're going to... Uh, give the skills, which I, I I am perfectly happy with this skill. It's like, it should, you know, hey, it should maybe take a skill to to be able to demolish this. Play test your game, guys. Like this this kind of stuff is 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 uh, it's just so annoying. You know, it's floating in the air and it looks horrible on the map. Here's another little bug. So this is unknown. Um, usually, a duplicate can run by this. And it would reveal this area. You'll get this on your map from time to time. It's it's a minor bug. You cannot build here. You cannot drill here. So if you try to build something here, game won't let me. You can build there, but sometimes your duplicates will run by it, and it will it will activate. They'll be able to see the top. It's just a minor bug. Just be aware of it. You'll see it in some of the buildings, uh, especially buildings like this. Some of these buildings, they have unknowns in them that the duplicates can't walk by. There's nothing in There's no little uh, vacillator in here, I think. No, there is a vacillator in here. There's water down here, and there's a morb inside there. I didn't even want to bother getting into that area, so didn't bother with that area at all. Uh, so, yeah, this kind of stuff annoys me. I don't mind this stuff so much. There's going to be bugs in the game. But when they advertise that you can... Uh, deconstruct everything in the game all gravitas buildings play test your game guys Just play test your game life will be better you won't have people commenting how your game sucks because they didn't play test it and uh, so on and so forth i beat that uh i beat that uh drum to death so let's move on uh also now that's not to say that's not to say that the game is unplayable because it still is playable. I mean, you're just going to have to deal with goofy stuff like this. And, um, yeah, you're just going to have to deal with it. It's just on the map. There it is. You got to, you got to, you got to deal with the, you got to deal with things as they are, not as you want them to be. You can let them know, hey, get this fixed and hopefully they do it. Uh, yeah. What was the other thing we wanted to talk about before we going oh let's talk about some skills for a minute one of the things about the game and even in the new release i am not very impressed with um let's take a look at our skill so in our skill set we have and this has not changed much either with the new release there's a few little differences but not much hard digging super hard digging great great all this stuff is good these two skills should be separate critter ranching should have a first base lane best base level Improve farming should have three levels. Three, three farming skills, three critter ranching. I don't know if these guys are aware, but ranching and farming are completely different. Farmers do ranch and ranchers do farm, but they are separate skills. Okay? They are completely separate skills. So there should be a ranching one and there should be a farming one. So why, why does my rancher have to learn how to farm? Should be ranching one, two, and three. The next thing uh, to talk about is grilling. Grilling needs some loving. And food, in fact, in this game needs some loving. Grilling should be 
grilling one, two, and three. And grilling should be allowed... Let's talk about food for a second. Because food in this game... I got a lot to say about food. Food in this game is... Um, disappointing. In the game, you have... Meal... Yeah, you have mealwood, which is what we're growing our Dracos with. That's your early, basically your early game food. Almost every player uses it. Then you've got mushrooms. Mushrooms are great. I love growing mushrooms. The problem is they require slime to grow, right? They require slime. If you don't have any slime, you cannot grow them anymore. So some maps may not have a um, swamp biome on it. Or a very small sw swamp biome. I and mean, once you're done and algaes, or the, 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 the slime is gone, you can't grow mushrooms anymore. So I think they ought to change the recipe a little bit and um, allow them to be in a certain type of environment. And maybe you have to water them or put them. They, they require moist and mushrooms, you know, avid mushroom, love mushrooms in real life too. You know, they require kind of moist environments, kind of. They grow in decomposing stuff. So maybe rot piles would be good food for them. I don't know. I mean, there's there's a there's a way to do it that I think can be done well. So I think mushrooms need a little bit of love. Bristle blossoms, I like growing them. They're great. But, you know, we tried to grow some. Water was just too hot. That's okay. You know, it, it was a lot of fun building. It didn't work out the way I wanted it to, but oh well. Bristle blossoms are another great food to use and grow. Uh, water weed, I really wish it would was a lot easier to use water weed. Water weed, let's go over here to this area. Water weed, where are you? I don't see any. Ah, here we go. Water, re water weed, there we go, requires, um, if you grow it, it requires bleach stone. If you don't have any bleach stone on your map or you have a very limited size map, well, you can't grow it anymore. You have to grow it naturally, which doesn't produce as much food. So they're very finicky. I think they should uh, require water, definitely. Salt water, fine. Um, that's perfectly fine. If it, if it requires salt water, that's great. That's perfectly fine with me. Uh, no issues with that at all. Uh, I, the irrigation or the... Uh, component to feed them probably should be something else uh, then of course we have sleet wheat grain which you're only going to find in a cold biome uh, that could be problematic if you don't have a cold biome on your map I think most maps have at least one cold biome I think they all have a map I haven't played every single map yet but I think they all have at least one cold biome on them but I could be mistaken sleet wheat grain is fantastic you can make, of course, frost buns. You can combine that with a pinch of pepper nuts and make uh, some really good food with that. And that leads us to food itself. The food itself, we don't have a lot of options. Yeah, you can make omelets. Okay. You can make fried mushrooms and gristle berries and barbecue and frost buns. Now, the question is, are you going to make uh, good quality plus three? Or are you going to make gristle buns? Crystal berries plus one. Fried mushrooms plus one. You know what most players do? They go right to barbecue. Absolutely go right to barbecue. And I, I do it every playthrough because barbecue is so good. Not, I mean, in real life too. But it's so good for morale. And um, why wouldn't you? So the food in this game needs some loving. It does. Why can't we make a salad? A barbecue salad. Right? Grow water weed, grow mealwood, grow grow bristle berries, grow um, you know, the different things, and have another station right here called a meal prep station or a, a cutting board or something like that. And they would prepare the meals and you could make a salad out of it. A a basic salad, and then you could make it an advanced salad or something. I'm just throwing ideas out there. I don't have all the answers, right? Uh, so this needs some loving food needs some loving the new expansion food did not get it loving as per usual so everybody just is going to go right to barbecue why wouldn't you 
because it's so easy to do and it's the fastest way to get the most morale out of your dupes uh, and it's pretty much hands free you just need a cook you just need a rancher and you're golden farming takes too much time if we were to have this get the same amount of food from the crops we grow the, the time investment for this let's say a plot of land here is much greater to get than barbecue you're spooled up in barbecue and i mean you can really push it and get your dupes into barbecue bef before cycle 70 really uh you just get a farm a, a rancher with some skill and boom you're rocking and rolling you do the research you're into barbecue baby that's it's that fast and it's that easy to do so i think the game would i think the developers should really start thinking about growing or expanding the repertoire of what you can do with your food have lots of different options i mean i i like the i like the uh gas range i think it's pretty neat you can make mushroom wraps and surf and turf and pepper bread and frost burgers all kind of stuff <clears throat> but why would i go for six morale if i have to try to grow lettuce and get frost buns this for this amount of 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 morale no i'm not going to put that forth that effort and the the path of most players is to grow to do barbecue <laughs> why wouldn't you and there's there's no there's no negatives to it at all farming needs some loving man it needs some serious attention and um uh give me a reason give me a reason to grow crops and i will like give me a reason to grow bris bristle berries and and mealwood and you know not just for the not just for our our drecos but for the duplicates to eat that also leads into like a balanced diet i think it would be pretty cool if they introduced that mechanic in there uh one of the skills that is very uh, it's that needs some care is doctoring like we don't the doctors in this game they're if you don't have atmo suits out if you have atmo suits outside your base your dupes are only gonna get sick every now and again in reality yeah the only time they're gonna get sick is by handling food poisoning and they get over that in three days uh the stuff that you can make allergy medication immuno boosters and vitamin chews it's kind of silly let's add some real stuff to there so you know in real life if you just ate barbecue not you know it's not really that good for you in real life right so we could have a counter on the duplicates to say oh we need some cat we need some different calories and that would so if you have different foods stored up in here they could go oh i need some i need some fruit or i need some vegetables and they'll go pick the vegetables out and eat that for dinner uh, and, and you know they could come over and say oh I, I, barbecue i've had too much of that too much barbecue it's time for some you know some of this type of food so they have counters for everything for these guys i mean their breath their bladder their stamina their calories they just break this out right here meat calories and veggie calories just break it out duplicates and then we'll just grab whatever they need and go and maybe that's a little too complex i don't know not a programmer so but i think it'd be i think it would be really cool if they did and if you don't if they don't do that that's where the doctor comes in the doctor has to give them you know the different vitamins you have to make some actual vitamins for your dupes for them to uh you know have the right uh, materials for them and you can you know there's like, like i say there's a dozen different ways for them to do that now those are all the negative i spent a lot of time on the negatives of the game positives of the game absolutely fun absolutely fun to play there is so much fun to be had building there's so much fun to be had trying different things i mean you're gonna try to build a you know volcano tamer first time i tried to t try uh, tried to tame a volcano <laughs> it was not fun and it did not work out very well but that's the fun of the game figuring out what you can do i'm sure there's a dozen different ways to make this thing better you know and learning from the different ways like yeah we didn't have to build this heat spike this deep yeah, probably here would have sufficed right about you know maybe here do i need the second one i don't know right 
and that's the fun of it is trying to figure out what's the optimal way of building and what's the how do i want to build and there's just again the game has so much potential and so much so many things that you can do uh you know you core out the entire map get rid of all the stuff fill the whole place up with water if you want right just dump all the water on the bottom of the map and let it start to accumulate fill the whole place up with with oxygen get rid of all the carbon dioxide fill the whole place up with hydrogen if you want you know chlorine maybe you know you've got a sealed up base and the only way out is through a liquid lock and they're out into a chlorine environment just do some crazy stuff just go crazy if you got a chlorine vent just maybe fill the whole whole whole, whole place up is one big chlorine place chlorine planet you turn it into a chlorine planet the only way to get in and out well is through a liquid lock that gets you outside into the area and now you're in a chlorine you're in a dangerous environment but it's it's really weird stuff like that you can do that just set this game apart from other base building games because you can do what you want to do and of course there are always things that you that you have to do like you have to build a, a barracks you got to have a bathroom and so on and so forth i mean that that, that that's par for the course i mean obviously in any type of game you're gonna have to have your basics but after that, man, the sky's the limit. Do whatever you want. Build however you want. Try different things, you know, and just have fun. And that is the the hallmark of a great game that you can come back to again and again. Yeah, you're going to build a solar array. And yeah, you're going to go in the oil biome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know you're going to do that. But then try your hand at building different stuff. Try your hand at uh, utilizing these carbon dioxide vents. Try your hand at messing around with chlorine vents. Try your hand messing around with uh, volcanoes and playing around with those and see what you can do with them. Just really, in, it's, it's, it's such an enjoyable game. And it's a long-term game. You can come back to it. Start a new base whenever you want. And try different stuff. You can go to, to and do rock, rocketry for as long as you want. You know, it's not... The, the, the game is... As I said before, the world is your oyster, and you get to eat it however you want. Ah, so having said all that, uh, it is worth a buy. I would not buy the expansion at this point in time. It, it does lack some some characteristics. I think the new expansion, I think, does lack some characteristics. You might like it, but I don't. I think it. I think it's. I've 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 watched players, some very respectable YouTube players. And at this time, I found it wanting. So I won't be playing it until they update some of the, the mechanics and change a few things and make the game a little bit, uh, I wouldn't say user-friendly, but less micromanagement friendly uh, with the rad update. So I'll be playing the base game and enjoying every minute of it. So let's finish. Let's 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 get this show under. Uh, let's wrap this thing up here. So what are we gonna do? First thing we need to do, we have to build a floor. We're gonna build these out of metal. We're gonna build them out of gold. Uh, let's do uh, right about here. Uh, something about like this. Not about like that. Grab our plastic ladders. There we go. Let's let the dupes get to work. I'm going to shut these down. You guys are not allowed to be on these beach chairs. Let's get them back to work. Get it back to a reasonable time. Now you guys can have four hours. How about that? You guys have been pretty good. You've you put up with my overtime. You guys get four. How about that? Everybody gets four hours of downtime. Got to make sure they get things done we've got some stuff to do the last bit of stuff 
There they go. Everybody gets four hours of downtime. They got their bedroom time. They got their bathroom time. There we go. I don't know why you guys are going upstairs. We. Oh, all the gold's upstairs. That's why. That's fine. We're going to need another set of ladders here. At some point. That will go up. Oop. A little save game here. Hello. Hello game. All right. We'll go up like this. And we'll go up like this. That might be a little too big, but we'll find out. Oh yeah, look how much look how easy the game is with all those ladders gone, all the stuff been picked up, everything's been cleaned up. The game just runs so much smoother when you clear your base up. game just doesn't have to calculate as much that's that's why that is how that works oh no food poisoning whatever shall we do all right let's get this done there we go Decor, baby. Look at that gold. Gold tiles. Why are we building out of gold? Why not, I say. What are we building over here? We're going to build a monument base. A monument base is going to go right here. You need... 7,500 steel for this and 2,500 obsidian. Not a very big cost. There we go. We'll build that one. Build some metal tiles like this. And we'll build some metal tiles like this. Don't go crazy on the game. And then furniture. We're going to grab some of these... Uh, I'll grab some of these pedestals. Yeah, let's build these out of uh, sandstone. Why not? Why not? Like that. I don't know if we have enough uh, artifacts to fill all these up, but we're just going to build them. Like that. There's our pedestal base. You can change the base. Uh, let's change it to that. We, uh, we grew our colony from the different critters. There we go. Furniture. We need next the monument tap. I need some plastic. And what are we missing? We need some ceramic and we need some plastic. And five tons of steel. Missing resources. Ceramic, plastic, and steel. I'll be right back with the materials. And through the power of editing, we've got all of our materials. Ceramic, plastic, and steel ready to go. Let's see. Oh, furniture. Let's get our midsection here. There we go. Put that together. And I, I put all this stuff right here. I put it put some storage buckets right there and uh now well, they have access to access to them they can get over here. oh let's start uh putting some stuff on here some of the stuff that we got from outer space i don't know i'm just gonna go ahead and 
grab all that stuff. Oh, here we go. Old x-ray. Percolator. Pristine fossil. Uh, let's put the... Oh! Stethoscope. Another stethoscope. Another stethoscope. Uh, bioluminous rock. I'm just throwing stuff down. Uh, put a, an office mug there. There you go. What else do we have? We have any, uh, like, uh, wristwatch is good. There's some archaic tech. <laughs> Let's put a blender here. Oh my gosh, we got a bunch of saxophones, too. A mangled saxophone. Somebody rode their bicycle over it, apparently. That's fine. Another blender can go here. There's a blender. There's a moldavite. Another moldavite. Do we have anything else? Bioluminous rock. We got any other, uh... Oh, magma lamp. There we go. Uh, let's put this thing there. All right. Let's choose... Uh, oh, here we go. There you go. We grew our colony from... That to this. With the critters. Look at the decor rating from these. It's insane. It's insanity. It's craziness. Mm. Double helix model, that's fine. An obelisk over here. I like this strange brick. What else do we have? Encrusted teapot. A shield generator up here. What you do is just do another row. I think we've might have enough for these. I don't know. Maybe we do. Maybe we don't. The white wizard will know. What? Never mind. Ah, uh, do we have enough stuff for... Yeah, put an obelisk here. Put a... Put a... Uh, guess we're gonna... Put a obelisk there. Yes, sure. Strange brick.
And you can put other things on here, too. It's pretty neat. Let's put all the strange bricks up here. That strange brick. That's an obelisk. That's an obelisk. Don't put eggs. They will hatch. Uh, no, they won't hatch. They'll go bad. Um, let's put... I don't know. Maybe some... Oh, let's put an oxygen mask there. Can we put anything else? Something cool there? No. Oh, let's put a snazzy suit down. Let's put another snazzy suit in there. I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's it. What else can we put in there? Let's put a piece of copper. A piece of copper ore, but a diamond and a piece of phosphor. No. Oh, some iron. That'll be good. Need some steel on this one. Oh, let's put a piece of lead there. Some, uh, gold. Sure. Why not? Well, we got the stuff. Let's. Let's put in uh, wolframite. Let's put in a piece of glass. A little piece of steel. And maybe a piece of plastic. There we go. All filled up. Ah, do we have any uh, other space stuff that we got? Let's see if we have any more space stuff. Maybe we do, maybe we don't. Ah, we have another strange brick. And another strange brick. There we go. Okay. Let's finish this statue up. And the monument top. This thing takes 2,500 glass, 2,500 uh, diamond, and 5,000 steel. It goes right there. <laughs> and of course, every time you send up a rocket, uh, I think you get items. Don't know what the chances are of getting what. And we did put some of those guys down here, this modern art down there. Alert! Imperative achieved. Home sweet home. Few civilizations throughout time have had the pri privilege of understanding their origins. The one thing that matters is that we are here now and we make the best of the world we've been given. I'm proud to say this asteroid is our home. There we go. That looks like a uh, mesh tile right there. All right, yeah. Not a mesh tile. Got a little ladder there. Got a little pipe coming up. Vent pipes. Had a little party here. I don't, I don't know if that's insulation or if that's just a ceiling. Not sure. All right.
There you go. You can also you can get a little time lapse. It's pretty cool. And uh, there's a few things that we didn't do. It. Ten tons of refined metal by ranching smooth hatches. That's pretty easy to do. Most of these achievements are real easy to do. Get a room. The only thing we didn't do is a greenhouse. Um, and a, we've got the nature reserve. Hospital, rec room, great hall, bedroom, washroom, greenhouse. Yeah, we just needed to build a greenhouse. Get that one super sustainable. This is a little tougher. That uh, requires you to produce a lot of energy without using coal, natural gas, petrol, or wood. Locavore, you have to eat 400,000 calories of food without planting any seeds in planter boxes, farm tiles, or hydroponic farms. Uh, carnivore, 400,000 calories of other meat, of critter meat before the 100 cycle. Um, reduce the temperature of building to 6 Kelvin. Moving on up, yeah, you have to get a moo. Uh, improve uh, for uh, nature reserves. That's pretty easy to do. Critter whisper, uh, find and tame one of the critter species in the world, and you can obviously click on it. Pakus, puffs, gassy moo, poke shell, and a pip. There's one of four. Coldest building is eight point eight. That's I mean you can do that easy, easy to do. Carnivore. Local board. How much did we... I don't know. About super sustainable. We didn't do. Never build a wood generator. Yeah, yeah that was never going to happen. Get a room. What are we missing? Yeah, the greenhouse. That's easy to do uh, for farming. So that is the objective for uh, the game. And the last thing that we need to do, so build the great monument was what we did. 12 dupes, 16 morale, easy to do. Survive 200 cycles, and we're going to breach the temporal terror. So that is our next objective. And we have a rocket ready for that. That is this hydrogen rocket. Let's get working on that. Unpause the game, and... We're going to send this bad boy up to the distance. So we we'll go to the star map here. And this is our destination right there. This is at 18, I'm sorry, 180,000 kilometers. Uh, let's see what we need for that. 2521. 2521. That's our max fuel capacity. 900 kilos. 900 kilos. Is that uh, math? Oh, we have to do math now. That's uh, 721. There we go. Turn on our liquid hydrogen. Hopefully, we have enough. Pretty sure we do. I did replace a few of the. Uh, a few more of the pipes, but with insulation. These are the ones that were breaking earlier in the game. We should be fine, though. Let's set our destination for this rocket. It's going to go all the way out here to the final destination, the Temporal Tear. <clears throat> we're going to go ahead and assign whoop, back up here. Rocket number one. The uh, sightseeing module. Rocket number two. Rocket number three. Rocket number four. Last time I tried this, they would not enter these modules. I think I figured out why, but we'll see. It is their sleep time now. They, they are on different... They have a kind of a mid-shift, so we'll have to wait a minute. There we go. Let's get rid of this. There goes our next one. Just waiting for this person and our, uh, our, our rocket pilot. So 
sometimes you have to uh, click on them uh, multiple times. Uh, let's go find the person. Where are you? Oh, you're having dinner. Okay. Yeah, don't like that food, huh? Well, that's just too bad. Oh, here she comes. I think she's going to go up there. We'll see. I think she's coming up here. You going to come up here? There we go. Nice. Let's pull the gantry back. We mustn't let them... Oh, let's just get rid of it. We mustn't let them out. Here comes rocket number three. There we go. Hello. Where, where'd you go? Oh, you're sleeping. Okay. All right. Wake up. Time to get up. Yeah, her stamina is at 100%. She's just staying in bed. But she can. Oh, where, where did you go? Oh, I don't. Come back here. Oh, no, you. You, come here. Turn it, game. Quit screwing around. Let's you move all the way up here. up here. No. Where are you going? What are you doing? No. Move here. Alright. Let's uh, reassign. Reassign. Change your orders. There we go. She's in. Deconstruct. Yeah. Make sure she can't get out. She may not leave. Because they will leave. If they get hungry, they'll leave the, uh, the sightseeing module. You can't see them in here. Hello? Somebody get up here and remove this gantry. It's not that hard. Get up here. There we go. Thank you. All right. Let's open the doors. The last, the last rocket launch, ladies and gentlemen, in this playthrough. Open our doors here. There we go. We're almost up to four million calories in barbecue. We got a few. We got a few. Here we go. The Great Escape. There we go. Homeworld in this universe is gone. Replaced by the skeleton of a planet and a wound in the sky. But I hold out hope that other worlds exist out there tucked away in other dimensions. I sent my duplicates through the temporal tear, carrying that hope on their shoulders. Perhaps one day they'll find a place to call home 
and begin a thriving colony all their own. Yes, they can they can be the overlords now and get frustrated. There we go. Boom! All done. The great escape. We get our victory music. And of course, you could still continue to play if you want. You can still continue to play. Of course, your rocket's gone. And you can actually send all of your duplicates off to the Temple Terror if you wanted to. You just reconfigure all your rockets, shoot them off in outer space, and you know, have nobody left. They'll be all done. That's it. Oh, let's change your head. There you go. Get the Nisbet head. There we go. I think that looks pretty cool. So yeah, that's it. That's it for the playthrough. It's been a lot of fun building the space, getting it up and operational, starting from the early game when we were just this little bitty couple of guys, couple of people right here hanging out. And uh, we had this sprawling thing of beauty uh, that we created. <laughs> it's just a lot of fun doing. Still got a little bit of more of the map to tear apart, but it's not much of interest to me in doing so. Nothing really to to uh, do uh, as far as that's concerned. And I hope you have enjoyed the playthrough. It was a lot of fun to create. Hope you learned a th thing or two, and maybe I've done some right good stuff, and maybe I've done some bad stuff. Time will only tell. There's probably a lot more efficient ways of doing things. It's just the way I do things. I'm always up for learning new techniques, new ideas. Because this game is absolutely fun to play. Absolutely uh, something that you'll come back to. Because you can. it's, it's so replayable. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. And we will see you next time.